Welcome back, everyone. We are back here with our friends from Zoo Boise. I've got Melissa and Liz with us this morning, and Gemma, the Easter Bunny. Easter Bunny's helper, maybe, we want to say. I don't know, but she sure is sweet, and she's a big bunny. So, Melissa, what kind of bunny is she? So, Gemma here is what's called a giant Flemish rabbit. Uh, they are a domestic breed of rabbits, so these guys are not found in the wild anywhere. So no. Nope. Just with people. Um, these are not the largest of the rabbit species, uh, but they're pretty much close up to there. Uh, they can weigh anywhere, anywhere between 12 to 28 pounds. Our little girl here is only about 12 and a half pounds. Uh, so she's actually small, if you can believe that or not. I know, she yeah. looks big to me, yeah. <laughs> so um, she is part of our encounters um, at Zoo Boise, so kids can come out often and they get to have an up close encounter with her, learn all about rabbits and about our conservation, um, and then they also get to come over and touch her. Yeah, so, yes. and she's so soft. So soft. And she's yes. been very calm and sweet. I'm sure she's good with the kids. She's very, very good with the kids. She loves to come out and get lots of attention. Um, yeah. And her ears are so big. But explain what this is. You so tell me about it earlier. That is a fun little thing called a dewlap. <laughs> um, so basically the whole entire purpose of that is that when they have offspring, they can gather the offspring underneath that to keep them all nice and warm. So you can often tell if um, your rabbit has had lots of babies because the more babies they have, the bigger the dewlap gets. Okay. And so is it is it skin or is uh, it yep, just it's just, it's a nice little fatty skin area yeah. there. Um, so just it keeps her all nice and warm right, right there. Oh, no way. I love that. Yes. I've got that too. <laughs> yeah. But Liz, you've got a great event coming up this weekend. Yeah, our Easter extravaganza yeah. is on Saturday. How does that work? Well, it's a one of our large fundraisers, and it's a great day at the zoo. So the main draw is our egg scrambles, and we have those every half an hour. We have 30,000 pieces of candy and <gasps> eggs to give out to the kids. And so we divide them up by age group, so the you know, little toddlers are not going with the big kids, and we repeat them every half an hour. So if you miss the first one in the morning, you'll have you know three or four chances to okay, come back during the day. And do you put the eggs kind of all over the zoo, or how does that we work? We have a special grassy okay. area, and we, and we uh, coordinate that off, and then every half an hour we toss out another just bunch of them. The kids run out there. You know, they, you know, to get kids aren't say they're not really good at cleaning, but I can tell you when it's candy around, they are <laughs> fast and thorough. They they pick them up as yeah. quick as they can. And so, if someone comes out to the zoo, what kind of other animals do you have there that they'll be able to see this weekend? Well, you know, we have the lions and the tigers and giraffes, all the animals, and a lot of them. The Easter Bunny is going to bring special treats for them oh. throughout the day too. So okay. you, they'll get their Easter baskets, and then. Um, you know, the Easter Bunny's helper will be there taking photos. We have face painting um, and lots of other fun activities. That sounds so great. Today. All day Saturday, correct? Yeah, 10 to 5. Last okay. mission at 4.30, but it's regular zoo mission prices. No extra charge. All right, right there in Julia Davis Park in downtown Boise. Get out there and see Gemma. She's the sweetest Easter Bunny I've ever yeah. met.